Hi, I'm Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is a little off today. I have a bit of a cold. The family had it like a month ago. I thought, oh, I got away with not getting the same thing and darn, what happens, I got it. Anyway, we're going to continue. Um, we're going to make a low-carb broccoli patty. We are using the oven. I know it's getting warmer out, but I just thought, let's give it a try and um, see if you like it. Anyway, let's get started and I'm going to show you how to make it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put two teaspoons of, I'm using avocado oil, but you can use olive oil also if you'd like, into the pan. And then I've got my onion and I've got my garlic. So I have two cloves of garlic that I've crushed. and I have half of a medium-sized onion chopped. Now, I didn't weigh them or anything, but what I'm going to do is I'll just show you the onion that I did cut, just to give you an idea. So that was half of the onion that I used. So we're going to saute these till they're nice and soft and get that fantastic odor. I love the smell of onions and I love the smell of garlic. So while I'm sauteing the onions and the garlic, I've got a bag of frozen um, broccoli. It was frozen. Now I've taken it out and I've let it thaw. So what I'm going to do now is I want to get a bit of the moisture out of the um, broccoli. Oh yes, and this is a 500 gram bag of broccoli. So I've just taken a clean tea towel and just a small amount and what I want to do is I just want to see if I can wring out some of the water and you can see there's a little bit in the bottom already and I'm going to wring it out see if I can get some more out of here there you go can you see it there and then I'm just going to do this to the whole bag I can't get it all out but I'll get out as much as I possibly can and then I will throw it into another one of my dishes. So we're just going to do this again. I'm going to take a... and I'm using the whole bag. I hate doing recipes and you end up with extras of everything. So I tried to um, do it so that we had, um, we use up everything instead of having extras. And I find if you put too much in the, the cloth, then it's harder to wring out. So if you just do it little by little. So I will continue this and do the whole bag. And then we'll be ready to put our recipe together. So this is the last of the broccoli and I found that the broccoli was still a little frozen so what I did was I um, just put the bag in the microwave for 30 seconds just to take the frost out of it so that's the amount of water I got out it's kind of funny it is a clean cloth but an old cloth and you can see where I've uh, it's just fallen apart on me so it will be going in the garbage so we've got um, this all done. Now what I'm going to do, there's big pieces in there too, that's okay. Not a big deal. You can cut them up in smaller if you'd like. But I've got salt. So it's just salt and pepper to taste. I love my Herbamere, but I just ran out and I was at Costco yesterday and I forgot to buy some. So I'm going to have to go back. So I'm just mixing salt and pepper in there. So I'll just set that aside for a minute. So the next thing we're going to do is I have a half a cup of shredded cheese. I'm using marble cheese because that's what I have in the house, but sharp cheese is really good with it. I just don't have any right at the moment, but choose any kind of cheese that you'd like. A third cup of finely grated Parmesan cheese. And I have a cup of Baconettes, it's pork rinds, right here. Now, there's a little bit left in the package, 
and I'm going to use it because what am I going to do with it? I've got them all crunched up, but you can put it in. It's just your carb count is going to be a little different, but it's not going to be that much of a difference. So basically a cup, a little over a cup of this. So we're just going to mix this together. So we're going to add in the sautéed garlic and onions. And I just set them aside. They were already cooked when I was working on squeezing the water out of the, the uh, broccoli. So my onion and garlic are, are pretty well cooled off. We're going to mix this up and then I've got two eggs that I had already beaten. Mix these all together and then we're going to make them into patties and put them in the oven. Nice change, something different. You know it can be so boring having the same thing over and over and over again. So this is why I try to give you different recipes to give you variety and keep you on track. Okay. So it's up to you how big you want to make these patties. And I'm putting them on parchment paper on a cookie sheet. So I'm making them about that big. I'll show you once I've got them all put on the pan. And I did use the rest of the um, pork rinds that were in the bag because, like I said, what am I going to do with it? And I even, when I shredded my cheese, you never know if you're shredding the right amount. So I ended up shredding a little bit of extra and I threw it in here too. And it probably even makes it stick even more by doing that. These actually look like homemade hamburger patties, except they're green. Maybe we can call it a vegetarian um, hamburger patty. So I got a little bit left in here. Oh, I'll just leave it small instead of trying to put it in with the other ones. It's not going to hurt. Maybe that'll be for my grandbaby. They're coming today. There we go. So I've got them all here. I'm going to put them in the oven. I preheated the oven at 400. And we're going to cook it for approximately 15 minutes. Then we're going to turn them over and, and then bake them for another 15 minutes on the other side. They've been in for 15, so now I'm just going to turn them over. And you can see they're a little crispy looking on the bottom. I like using the parchment paper. This one looks like it's falling apart a little bit because I have extra large chunks, I think, in the, um, in the patty. There we go. Now I'm going to put them back in the oven for another 15 minutes and then we're ready to serve. So here is my low carb broccoli patties, vegetable patties. They're, they're really good. I'm just going to pick up this little mini one that I had eaten. I already took a bite. A little crispy. Quite nice. Very good. Excuse me. I think you should give this a try. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat had to this this video. So if you would like to go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this recipe. It's really, really good. I quite like it. And try some of my other ones. You take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.